Hey guys, welcome back to Day of the Tentacle. So if you remember from last episode, we cut down a tree in the past with Hoagie, which cut down the tree with Laverne, but then she got captured by the tentacles. Um, I'm assuming in the future the tentacles took over the world, and that's why there's like so many of them now. So now we have to find a way to escape this cell. Obviously I'll probably get electrocuted if I try to just walk out, and that guard is there. Okay. Well, first of all, Laverne is freaking me the hell out. Like, one of her eyes has, like, the tiniest pupil ever. The other one is just, like... She just looks like a meth head, you know? And it's just disturbing. I also don't know why she has, like, a med tag on her shirt. Is that because she's, like, autistic? Like, I just don't understand. How do I get out of here? How do I get out of here? If I knew that, do you think I'd be here? I guess that's true. I've got a lot of rotting in jail to do. Well I've got a lot of rotting in jail to do, so... Yeah, me too. Wow. That's depressing. So Zed, Weird Ved, and Zedna. Interesting. So they're no longer who they used to be. So obviously I have to get a hold of that switch. But I have to hit it with something, or reach it somehow. This might be one of the future and past puzzles or something. Let's talk to the guard. You Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? Get me out of here. This is a violation of my rights. I have to go to the bathroom. I have to go to the bathroom. Ha, that's a good one. Imagine a human using a bathroom. Come on, let's take a walk. What? Wait, seriously? Okay, human. Do your business. So I can just walk away, right? <laughs> Look at the way she runs. That is disgusting. Can I hop over the fence, maybe? <laughs> this is just so disturbing. I hate Laverne. <laughs> Can we just... I just walked away. That was it. I just ran away. That was it. Okay. This game is awesome. I can... Wait, talk to the window. What? Hello? Anybody there? Nobody's down there. I mean, where else do I go? I guess there's really nowhere else for me to go. Can I go in the window, maybe? It's already open. Okay, then go through it. I'm too big to fit through. Yeah, more like too fat. I'm back, Mr. Tentacle Man. I actually don't know like where I'm supposed to go. It looks like I can click on this fence. But there's nothing for me to really do on it, though. I have a scalpel. Let's remember that. Maybe I can stab the guard. I'm afraid he'd overpower me. Jesus, just so disturbed. Can I just go inside, maybe? Mr. Tentacle Guy. It's about time. Okay, so I can just ask him to go to the bathroom. You who, Mr. Tentacle Guy. Stop what? saying you who, Mr. Tentacle. It sounds like you want to have sex with him. You who, Mr. Tentacle Guy. Oh, all right. All right, you just went, but I guess I can let you out again. I didn't want to go back in. Okay, I'm gonna have to stab someone or something. Maybe if I pull, use the cards. Hey, they can cheat. You can. They can cheat, I can't. Now, what the hell does that even mean? Alright, Zed, now what do you have to say? Best not bother them, they're busy cheating. Okay. Right, so I can't talk to them. Maybe if I push him into the fence and he gets electrocuted? My arms aren't quite long enough. <laughs> what the hell was that? She just smiled when she got electrocuted. Now that is some top tier disturbing shit. You who, Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? Ooh, I don't feel so good. I think I'm going to <laughs> throw up all over. Uh oh. Time to visit Dr. Tentacle. Oh. Well, well, what have we here? I feel pukey. Indeed. All right, now hold still. Are you gonna use your scalpel? No, of course not. Darn. Do you want to use mine? Uh, no. 
They're not gonna question why she has a scalpel and she's in prison. as I suspected. What? There's nothing wrong with you, human. What a letdown. Well, I'm late for the show. I'll send your keeper back for you. Oh, sit. Stay. Good boy. Boy? Wow. Assuming my gender. Not okay. Okay, well, now I'm here. I really didn't think that would work because I thought he'd just let me outside to puke. I just took a poster. A tentacle chart. Interesting. So what are these? Like glory holes? Like what am I supposed to do with these now? Diplomas. I shouldn't. He paid a lot of money for that. Yeah, did he? Maybe I can use the scalpel to pry off the the screws. Maybe. No, I guess that's nothing. Maybe if I pick up this Oh, I've got plenty of those at home. Oh, I can just walk out. Okay, these tentacle people are stupid as hell. Smiling people. Oh, I can just go wherever I want. All right, let's go. No, not to the kennel. No. Hey, how'd you get out? Get back in there. Crap. Person in tutu. No, you can't go over there. Let's go outside, maybe. Shoot. God damn it! This sucks! So this is a fireplace somehow. I can just walk into it? Oh, that gets me up to the roof. What is that achievement? Alright. Hey, a flag! Crank box. The crank is missing. Oh, I need to find a crank to get the flag. Oh, and if I get the flag back to Hoagie... Then he can give it to Betsy Ross. Aha, things are coming together. However, I need a crank. There's no way to open it. Why would I want to get through there anyway? It's a two-story drop to the showroom floor. Oh, so they got rid of the attic. Well, how was I supposed to know that, Laverne? You don't have to be an it's ass about it. As it gets. Go down the chimney. Oh, and there's a guard there. So what am I supposed to do? Kill him? Do I stab him now? Is this the point where I use the scalpel? I can't. My therapist and I have an agreement. Where is the time capsule? Would be my question. Can I talk to these people without getting caught or no? Hi, my name's Laverne. I'm a sophomore. My name's Harold. I'm a thoroughbred. Wow, <laughs> that's quite a tutu you have there. That's quite a tutu you've got there. Thank you. My owner paid quite a lot of money for it. My owner buys me anything I want. Wait, are you George Washington? You look like George Washington. What else do I say? What are you guys waiting for? What are you uh, guys waiting for? We're all waiting for the human show to begin, of course. If your owner's going to enter you, they'd better get you some name tags quick. But then again, why bother? My owner said I'm going to win. I'm the most beautiful human there is. Wow. That voice was uh, interesting. Where is your owner? Where is your owner? He's not here right now. But he would be if he in any way possibly could. His bus broke down in Pittsburgh, so he's stuck there with the other owners. This is the first show I've ever done. Alone. Alright, I gotta go. Hey, hold that thought. I got a boogie. Get in touch! Smiling people. What do you guys have to say? Hi. Alright, that's disturbing. Uh, maybe... I can go down the clock without him noticing somehow? Humans aren't allowed to roam free here. I'm taking you back to the kennel. Boy, I wish I had a tentacle costume or something, but I can't even sew. You can't even sew, okay. Which means Betsy Ross would have to make one. Oh, if I get him the plans for the tentacle chart. 
But how would I get it back in time is my question. Because if I get him the tentacle chart, Betsy Ross could make the costume. And I also just don't know where to find like the time capsule. So like I get what I'm supposed to do, I guess. Mr. But I don't know like how. What? And before it was actually in this room. It's past this blue guard, but I don't know what this guard is going to say. Won't he catch me again? Hi, I'm La... Ooh-wee, you are one ugly human. Excuse me? Man, I'm not kidding. You are just about the homeliest homo sapien I've ever seen. Agreed. I thought he was going to... So this must be the time capsule here, right? Or no? Thanks, you ain't so hot yourself. Yourself. I never said I was, but sheesh, have you taken a look at yourself lately? I mean, your hair alone is gonna give me nightmares. Not to mention your teeth, your clothes, your one eye that's bigger than the other. Gee, how much worse could I get? Not much, unless there were two of you. Wow, that is everything I wanted to say to her. What the fuck? I guess I'd better just go shoot myself. Daily life. <laughs> this is the fucking kids game. <laughs> I can't. Wow, I was not expecting that option. All right, I'm just gonna go shoot myself. I guess I better just go shoot myself then. Oh, you don't have to do that. We have staff here that can do that for you. The doctor monitoring the human show. In fact, is a specialist in the field. Did you just turn into Bugs Bunny? Human show, sign me up. sign themselves up no matter how ugly they are go ask your owner to sign you up ask him to sign you up for a haircut while they're at it i don't have an owner i want this box because isn't this box the time capsule so as soon as hoagie gets that battery working we're set i'm afraid not we still need a diamond for the main unit and your friend in the future needs power too if she's still alive alive Alright, was that an important cutscene, or was it just mumbo-jumbo? Oh look, a hamster generator. I think it's designed to run with something, more like a small rodent. Right, do I need a small rodent? Should I pick up his mug, maybe? Get away from that! Why? Maybe if I fill up the dude's coffee with decaf or something, he won't like it anymore and he'll give me the mug? Right, Dr. Fred? Should I refill your coffee for you? Mmm, thanks. I needed a little pick-me-up. <laughs> Must open safe. What? Must sign contract. Must provide for family. He sleepwalks when he drinks decaf. Okay. Or when he just falls asleep, I guess. So now he's opening the safe? I guess I'll just wait for him to do that. And there's the contract. Wait, what was that? Go. He Bernard! My hand off with the door. Oh, I have to somehow, like... Keep it open. Maybe if I go upstairs to the nurse. Fru Fru Emerald Stolen. Circular prints left behind. Oh no, the tentacle stealing emeralds that I don't care about. What's up, Nurse Edna? See right there. Now I can see him in the monitor. It's oh. Dr. Fred's office. I can see the safe. I can almost make out the combination. It's get away from there. Darn. Huh. VCR. Get away from that. I have to get this biatch out of the way. But how do I do that? How's Dr. Fred doing? How's Dr. Fred doing? Well, 
he's still upset about the family financial situation, seeing that it's his fault and all. But he seems a lot better now that he stopped sleepwalking. Um, he didn't, because he's on the screen. Why don't you look at him? What's wrong with sleepwalking? Ordinarily nothing. But when Fred sleepwalks, he remembers a combination to the safe. I'd find him in the office, opening it, screaming like a cat in the oven, and slamming it again. Something about what's in there really scares him. Unfortunately, I was never able to catch the combination since he works it so fast. He's right there on the screen. How did he manage to stop sleepwalking? He stopped sleeping. Fred drinks a lot of coffee. Me, I only drink decaf. Okay, then I should get you some decaf coffee. I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Come back any time, you big hunk. <laughs> that was just creepy. So... I'd rather not. Why, though? Because that's exactly what I'd I need to do. Not. She only drinks decaf. I'd rather not. So I have to get her a cup with decaf. Creepy. I also like need this hamster. Oh, I just straight up picked him up. Let's go down to the basement and try the hamster machine because that's that's definitely something. I just don't know what it does. Maybe it'll produce me with a mug somehow. Woo! Look at him go. What the hell did that do? Did that do anything? Obviously that's not too important right now. I still need that mug. Where would I find a mug? This beautiful 4,000 carat diamond can be yours today for the special rock bottom introductory price of $2 million. The number to call is 1-800-STAR-WARS. Don't miss this amazing once in a lifetime opportunity. The coin slot. Oh, that moved him. So if I keep putting coins in there, eventually it'll shake him off the bed. What was in this room again? Poor me. Oh, the guy who wants to kill himself. Reach that from here. Right. How about the ink? Oh, I can reach that. Okay, so disappearing ink. What could that be used for? Hey, green tentacle dude. Okay, I pushed that over. It's too heavy for me to pick up. Which didn't really do anything. I just kind of pushed it over. And then maybe now if I push it again. It's too heavy for me to pick up. It's too heavy for me to pick up. So why did I push it down? Okay, I got a videotape. A bowling ball, a mouse hole. Wait, what did I just grab? The tape. Okay, I can put that upstairs. In this girl's room so if I throw that in here not with her move throw that in there get away from that. she has to be asleep again which means I have to get her coffee maybe if I use the computer oh this is just like a little mini game I don't need that really let's go upstairs and there's nothing really up here like whatsoever like, I literally can't click on anything. So I don't know what this room really is. It might be some sort of, like, final room where, like, the final mission happens. If I pick up the crank... Ah, so now I can somehow get it to Laverne. However, I'm not sure how yet. Because I don't have the time capsule. I have to swap it with the, the flag gun in that guy's room. Here's the clown. Maybe if I deflate it? This fork couldn't pop a spit bubble, let alone a tough clown like Uzo. Well guys, I've spent a lot of time trying to figure things out. I've collected a lot of new items and I'm just trying to sort of figure them out. Again, I'm not trying to use a walkthrough or anything. This is a really interesting game, so I can't wait to keep playing more. I'm just gonna make one big recording session and then uh, kind of split it into two parts because I'm really interested and I want to figure this out right now. 
but it's going on a bit too long, so I'm going to cut it off here. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.